So let's kind of dive into a little bit where you were kind of like, okay, work is kind of slow. Like the web design work is slowing down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, what got you to be like courses are the way? Like mm-hmm. what brought you there? That's a cool question. So it was actually my wife. Um, and the way that that conversation happened was, was like, okay, so I didn't make much client income this month. It was like $708 or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, that's not going to cut it. And, and I was like, I know that like, I can see my billables. I know that next month I'm going to get a lot more than that. Uh, but then I don't know, in two months from now, am I going to get another 500, 200, $700 a month? Like, is that what's going to happen? So do I get, is this what happens? And I was like, that's stressful. Like, and I don't like that. I don't like being able to project some aspect of sustainability in this business. It certainly doesn't feel like a business because I'm just selling my time as like a free agent and it's really unpredictable. And that's not, for me, I was like, that's not acceptable as like a soon to be dad or anyone who just wants to live a life that is has some aspect of sustainable income source. And so I was like, I need another income source. Like I need to be able to supplement this. And I'm not like going to go get a, get a serving job somewhere. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So Laura, she was like, what if you, what if you like taught, you know, taught web design at like the, the university or the college, you know, like rent a, like a room and like promote it and get people to like pay you to teach them. I was like, that's, that's kind of a cool idea. Like that's smart. And so I kind of run it through the numbers on my head. I'm like, okay, well, if I charge like $50 for a class and I get like 10 people, then it's like, okay, it's $500. But then, you know, am I going to be able to fill that every time? And do I have to like go to the university and rent the room and it's going to cost 200 bucks. And I'm, and so I'm running all these numbers and I'm like, that doesn't seem like a good sustainable way of doing this. And it's not it like it work out. It doesn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't work out. And you know, if I was like some really sought after instructor or something, then of course that would make sense. But that's not where I was at. It was like, nobody knows me. Nobody cares. Why is anyone going to come take my web design class at the university? Plus I live in a small city and it's like, not like there's a huge pool of people like really vying to get into the tech industry. So I was like, I like this idea, but what if I did it on the internet? Like, is that possible? Right. And obviously now that's like, go ahead. Did you like, did that thought pop up initially? Like, oh, what about this on the internet? Or were you watching people that you were like, oh, this is, in- this person is doing it. Maybe I can do sort of my version. No, it like, it was just like an idea. Like, that's what's so strange about it. Like now it's so obvious. Like anyone would be like, oh, I'll teach what I know. Like, that's like, there's a million what, uh, email marketing companies. There's a million creators. There's a million courses. There's a million this, like, yeah. it's all, it's so obvious now, but 10 years ago, at least for me, like I wasn't like, I, what I Not looked up was like dribble, like web design inspiration and like, like a YouTube tutorial for how to understand my SQL better. Like, it was just like, I didn't, I didn't know that you could do that online like it wasn't obvious to me and so i was like well what if i don't know like the internet like we've got youtube we know about youtube but like what if someone like paid you money on the internet for like a class Mm -hmm. and so i just like literally googled like create like a course on the internet or something some rudimentary search like that and through searching a bit i found udemy and Udemy was pretty new at the time. Like it was like really, really new. Yeah. It was like, create your online course. And, and I read like how it worked. You publish it. We give you all the tools to create a great video course or text-based course, whatever. And we'll give you all the resources and then we'll market it and we'll take a cut and you take the remainder. And I was like, this sounds like a bet. We'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So so then I was like, all right, let's go. What am I going to teach? And then that's where I created that first course. And so that's how, that's how that conversation happened. Got it. All right. So by the way, looking at the, uh, the live chat really quick, Cam is saying, ah, your wife brought you there. I too can relate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, yep. we, you know, we need to have those type of people in our, in our, in our life, man. Yeah. Um, 
I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, you can find more Build From Scratch website tutorials with me right here, or you can find more Editor X tips and tricks in this playlist over here. With that said, I hope to see you guys in another video. And of course, if you liked this episode and what we're doing here on this channel, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.